Let's talk about Amari Cooper mm. in the concussion protocol, has the ankle injury. What do we know about him going against the Chiefs? It's the ankle, not the concussion. He's cleared from concussion protocols, but the ankle is going to keep him out of this game, it looks like. The, the source I talked to this morning said probably not going to make it with regard to Amari Cooper. Of course, you remember he had 200-plus yards against the Chiefs the last yeah, time, did. so big loss, especially with Marcus Peters out, but it looks like they'll have to go. They do get Crabtree back from suspension, yep. but it looks like they'll be without Cooper for a second straight week. Yeah, I think it's, a, to me, Michael Crabtree, a top-10 play this week, and I think you see a lot of Marshawn Lynch, who the last couple of weeks continues to get more and more work. Chiefs have struggled against the run recently. All right, talking about injured wide receivers coming back, how about Kelvin Benjamin yeah. in Buffalo? Looks likely to play with that knee injury after missing the last couple weeks. Now, you remember he hurt it early in the Nate Peterman game yeah. against the Chargers. At right On the first catch he made that, that week. Now, the game plan was for Benjamin that week. He was going to be a big factor, from what I understand, in their game plan that week. Now, does that, can, does that pick right back up? This week we'll see, do they adjust after what Peterman went through, if it is Peterman instead of Tyrod Taylor. Uh, but it looks like they will have Kelvin Benjamin out there on that bad knee. The question is, how lucky do you feel? I mean, that's the exact question. I can't imagine starting him in a season-long playoff game, but in a DFS tournament yeah, or something like that, I think it could be interesting. It's certainly a great matchup with the Colts. And again, we're wanting to see what happens with that quarterback situation, whether it's Tyrod yeah. Taylor or Nathan Peterman.